something uh, a little bit different. We're going to come back to a single positive charge. That single positive charge is going to be moving to the right in an area where there is no magnetic field. It is then suddenly going to enter into a constant magnetic field. Now, I will point out that this would actually be very difficult to do, to create, but it's a good theoretical thing to talk about. A constant magnetic field that looks like this. Now, right when it enters the constant magnetic field, its velocity is to the right. Again, figure out the direction of the force. Velocity, magnetic field, thumb. The magnetic force is up. So up until this point, all we talked about is, okay, what's the magnetic force? And what's its direction? We have yet to do anything. Okay, what happens to the charge? So that's what we're going to figure out now. This magnetic force is going to accelerate this charge. Agreed? It's going to accelerate it upward. In other words, this charge is not going to move directly to the right. After a short amount of time, it's going to be somewhere else. We'll say right there. When it's at this point, is its velocity still directly to the right? No. Its velocity is now up at an angle like this. So what's the direction of the magnetic force now? It's going to be this way. So this magnetic force is going to be in that direction. So now it's going to accelerate even more. We'll get up to the point, say, where it's like right here. And the velocity is straight up. What's the direction of the magnetic force then? To the left. And we can actually continue to do this. And we're going to get the velocity and the magnetic force are going to look like that. So I need a better description of the direction of the magnetic force in this particular case. Dan? It is perpendicular to the direction of the velocity. One thing to point out is that it's perpendicular to the direction of the velocity. Absolutely. Notice it's actually also perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field, right? Because the magnetic field is um, into the board, and so the, velocity, uh, the magnetic force is in the plane of the board, so the magnetic force is also uh, perpendicular to the magnetic field. I need more. There's a, a good description of the direction of the magnetic force. Head look. It's in the in direction. It is in the in direction because this positive charge is moving in a circle. So we could, for example, sum the forces in the in direction, and the only force acting on it would be the magnetic force, and that would be equal to mass times the centripetal acceleration. I'm excited. We get to draw a free body diagram again and sum the forces in the in direction and figure out all sorts of stuff having to do with that. Because a charge moving perpendicular to a magnetic field will move in a circle. Now, when it moves in a circle, its speed will be constant. However, the velocity of the charge will not be constant. Why will the speed of the particle be constant, but the velocity of the particle will not diminish. Speed's a scalar because speed has no direction. The direction of the charged particle is changing throughout, so the velocity cannot be constant. However, the speed of the charged particle will be. Believe it or not, this is something that you have seen. You haven't seen it from this vantage point. Yeah. I hope to someday. <laughs> this is a picture taken from the International Space Station. And is a picture of the Aurora Borealis. This is probably one that you're more familiar with, taken from the Earth. This is a picture of the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Borealis, or Aurora Australis, depending on where you happen to be, is solar wind from the Earth, from the Sun. 
which is charged particles, with electrons and protons moving from the sun and running into the earth. And they get trapped in the magnetic field of the earth. And this is good for us because it keeps us alive. It keeps us with an atmosphere. And when these charged particles move, they actually move in spirals. They don't move in perfect circles. That's what we do in this class. But they're not always going to move at a perfect uh, 90 degree angle to the magnetic field. They move in spirals. And they move in a cyc like cyclone. Uh, they move in spirals very, very quickly, and they end up running into one another. And what you see is the light. The light is the energy given off when those two highly um, charged particles moving very, very quickly give off energy because they collide with one another in the form of light energy. The reason we see it at the poles in general is, or at least closer to the poles, is because the magnetic field of, is much stronger near the poles than it is near um, where we are right now.